Hello, I'm Lisa Kim and welcome to our Heart Health series. Today we're going to talk about where the magic happens. That's the science and research behind all the clinical treatments you see today, especially for cardiovascular disease. And who better to talk about that than Dr. Joseph Wu. He is the director of the Stanford Cardiovascular Institute, and you're also the chairman of the National Research Committee for the American Heart Association. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Lisa. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, we're glad you're here. You know, we've heard the term cutting edge technology used so many times. You know, the latest and greatest when it comes to research and also treatment. But what sets Stanford apart from other institutions? So you're right, Lisa. I think the words uh, cutting edge uh, technology have been used uh, quite routinely. I think what sets Stanford apart from many other places is our ability to take basic science research into clinical trials at a pretty fast pace which is what we would call bench the best side research. Vice versa, I would say that uh, our ability to go into the clinic, recognize a clinical problem with unmet needs, mm -hmm. and then go back to the research lab to find out the solutions for that unmet need is also quite spectacular. And this is what I would call best side to bench research. And then we're also talking about getting into the arena of personalized medicine, mm -hmm. especially regenerative yeah. medicine. And mm -hmm. you were doing some research in terms of a fascinating story you were telling mm -hmm. me about using 10 cc's of blood in a vial. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we've been working on this concept of using induced uh, pluripotent stem cells as a study cardiovascular medicine for the past decade. Uh, essentially the concept is that you could take a uh, patient's blood mm -hmm. and from 10 cc's of the blood, you can transform them into what we call induced pluripotent stem cells or iPS cells. These iPS cells, uh, for our practical purposes, are the same as your embryonic stem cells. And so these iPS cells has the potential then to become your brain cells, liver cells, kidney cells, vascular cells, bone cells, or skeletal muscle cells. And so at the Stanford Cardiovascular Institute, I think we've uh, set the bar, in my opinion, uh, in terms of making iPS cells from cardiovascular patients, differentiating them to heart cells, and using a big biobank of these uh, heart cells to do fundamental discoveries in cardiovascular uh, research. So those billions of heart cells, how does that play into the diagnosis and treatment of a patient? Yes, so um, I'll just give you one example. Um, suppose a patient comes into the clinic and the patient has a genetic disease such as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or dilated cardiomyopathy or congenital arrhythmia, which could cause a certain cardiac death. You could do the DNA sequencing to find what the mutation is. But the problem we have as cardiologists is we don't know how that mutation caused the disease. And in the past, it's just not been possible for us to biopsy the patient's heart to study that. But right now with this technology, we just get 10 cc's of the patient's blood generate the heart cells, and from these heart cells, understand the disease mechanism. And from that, we then try to come up with targeted therapy for the patients. The benefits are that it's not as time consuming for mm -hmm. the patient to come in every few days or every week. Mm -hmm. And it also, the end result would be less costly for them because you don't know if the drugs are going to work yes. or not. Yes. Is that correct? So that's right. So on a population level, um, we can test uh, drugs on 1,000, 2,000 patients at a time for this clinical trial in a DISH uh, concept. On an individual person level, let's say, for example, you show up in your doctor's uh, clinic uh, with some type of heart disease. The mm -hmm. doctor prescribes you with the medication and you take the medication at home. You don't really know whether that medication works or not for you. Why not have your heart cells in a dish test the medication and figure, find out which medication works for you, and then you take the medication that has been already been proven to work in the heart cells in a dish model. So this gets in the concept of using this as an individualized tailored therapy, or what this, uh, you know, this whole concept of uh, precision medicine, precision health uh, that uh, Stanford is uh, pioneering as well. A lot of exciting things ahead. Oh, thank you very much, Lisa. Thank you, Dr. Joseph Wu, the director of the Stanford Cardiovascular Institute and also chairman of the National Research Committee for the American Heart Association. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.